Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shirley, if you're new here. In today's look, we're just gonna be shooting for a look. I don't have no plans of what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna do it. And I'm gonna be using the Ace Beauté Falling For You. That is a beautiful palette. And I'm thinking about using the top four rows. The colors look so much different than they do on that camera. Wait a minute. Oh, that looked purple on the bottom, but it's that chestnut is a dark brown when I'm looking at the palette, but there it looked purple. The pine cone is brown, but it looked lavender. Okay, let me go over everything I used. I set my um I primed my face with the Studio Perfect Perfect Studio Perfect photo loving primer and then I combine these two foundation together and it's um 360 mocha from Maybelline and the Huda Beauty chocolate mousse and I mixed them in this jar what I forgot to say is everything I'm using in this look is from a video shop my stash that's what I'm using in the last two video is from shop my stash Except for I added this too, because I ran out the other uh, Laura Mercier. So I used the uh, Laura Mercier Honey under the eyes. And then I used a one size deep, dark deep to set the rest of my face with. I lined my lip with the NYX Downtown. Is it Downtown Cutie? Downtown Beauty. <laughs> Cutie. And then I used the Super Stay 24 Hour Maybelline. Here it had the lip color and then they have a nice gloss like on the this end. So it's a two part lipstick. I did my cheek blush with the NARS Taj Mahal. The color. Can you see that color? That's it. That's the color it is. Seems like my color might be off. I don't know. And then I did a little highlighting here with this one. Let me tell you with this, I forgot to say this in my stash, but let anybody, if anybody else have this problem, right here on all my NARS that comes in this little packet, it breaks. I don't know why it just breaks. I did my eyebrow with this black pencil from Wet n Wild. Under my eyes, I went in with the House Lavatory Diva. And I contoured with this CoverGirl True Blend, that shade here. Here for the contour, here for the bronzer. And I got that out of Walmart. Now, <laughs> she's ready to go into her look. And I'm gonna try to do a little small cut crease. I'm going in with this shade right here. And then I think I'm not gonna do that other shade. I want it to be like that, like a diamond. Ooh, this palette is very pigment. So how has everybody been preparing for the holidays? Uh, um, as the holidays approached us, I'm going in with this right here in the center, right here. And I'm bringing it down to here. But as the holidays approached us, I was like thinking about my friends, you know, thinking about high school, which was 40 years ago. <laughs> thinking about them then I was thinking about some 
some rules my mom has set for us. Like, not rules. It's just you listen as she was talking to us and telling us about life to me. I'm going to come in with this again and bring it into here. But she was, I remember she used to tell us, your friends, people you hang out with, I tried, people you hang out with can influence you to do things you wouldn't normally do. The way you was brought up, you wouldn't do that. You do it because they're your friends. Well, you think they're your friend. And you be trying to, you know, fit in and please them. Because I've seen a lot of children who was good and then they got with the wrong crowd and they go the wrong way. And you pray that your kids keep sense and don't hook up with these people. If they if they hook up to be friends, this is how you wish it go. Somebody going to draw someone. Either the good one going to draw the bad one to want to change their ways or the bad one going to draw the good one. Somebody is going to draw someone and that's in any relationship not relationship but in any friendship if you even when you are adult or you are a child somebody gonna draw somebody to do what they to to fit in with them and what i mean is like if you and i what i'm trying to get to is this girl who was killed going to Mexico with those friends. Well, with the... Oh, I'm not doing a cut crease. I'm doing it. Let me go back and put some cut crease stuff there. Well, this girl went to Mexico with her friends. What well, people she thought was her friend. And then you... One of the things was said that the guy... One of the guys was her best friend. This is uh, Max Mac Prime and Prep Primer. So it's just gonna be a small cut crease. But one of the guys was supposed to be her best friend. But yet and still you there and letting them other girls beat on her the other girls was beating her they killed her how people she thought was her friend wasn't her friend but let me tell you you have to watch people you are trying you're becoming friend with or you think that they're your friend you have to watch them. I went too, too high with one. Let me do this cut creep a little bit more. That's what I need. But anyway, you have to be careful with people you call or you deem as your friend. You have to watch people. I'm not going to meet you this morning and this afternoon you're my best friend. <laughs> you, you're not. Surely going to talk to you in a little while and then later on she'll determine if you're her friend. Not even her best friend. You'll be her friend. But I'm going to watch you. And I'm not going to throw you away, but you're not finna be, we not finna be all up in the mix. You ain't coming to my house. I ain't coming to your house. We just talk when we see each other. That's the kind of friends we'll be. Because I feel those girls went on and they just was jealous of this girl. And a friend don't want to fight you. A friend don't want to bring harm to you. That's why uh, people say, oh, um... Give your man a chance after he done beat you to slip misery. Is it misery? He done beat you to a pope. And tell him, give him a chance. Noah, 
You don't hurt who you love. You don't, no matter what, I would rather leave than to hurt you. Like people who pour grits on their man. No. No. Or they set a woman on fire. You don't love me. You confuse her what love is. But my thing, I'm rambling going all on. My mom said, choose your friend carefully. And don't call everybody friend. My friend had a friend. And you heard me. I said my friend had a friend. Because <laughs> she wasn't my friend. But I tolerate her because my friend. And every now and then, we would wind up in the same group with my friend. Like, let's say we wanted to go to New York. And she's her friend. So all of us go to New York. And I'm with them. But on that trip, child, I almost got out the car. My friend said this at work. She said, her somebody at work, something get out the car and walk to work because she was going to put a dangerous piece of cussing on them. And I was like, that's how I felt then. I almost, they didn't have Ubers back then. <laughs> they did not have Ubers. So, I don't know what town we was in. It was some, one of her cousins, It was her cousin, the friend cousin, that we stayed at her house. I think it was New Jersey or somewhere. We stayed there on our way to um, uh, it was Washington. Somewhere we stayed. Girl, I almost called a taxi, rent me a car, and came back to Florida. I gotta go get something to clean this up. But your girl almost Called her a taxi. Now I'm going to have to go back in there with some highlighter. And came back to Florida. I never went on a trip with them again. I thought I was going to be able to handle it, but I did not like that friend. Did not like that friend. And that's how I am. I pick my friends carefully. And if you acting up, she will cut you loose. She ain't got time to play. She ain't got time to play, especially in my old day. <laughs> especially since I've gotten older, I don't play. Y'all know I'm trying to blend out these ends, but it's supposed to be a cut crease and it's supposed to be. Ooh. So anyway, let me go finish up this and then I'll be back with the final look. But pick your friend, pick your friend carefully and don't call everybody friend. Oh, that's my bestie. No, it's not. Because your bestie be sitting over there talking about, when can I get her? Because I'm going to get her. And this is the last story in chat. Because I had a um, my daughter's sister from my husband, ex-husband. <laughs> she, a girl came to her house for no reason and cut her in the face. Because she said you were too pretty. But she said she didn't have no idea what the girl was going to do because they were becoming friends. But I'm going to make you a scar in your face that you will always remember me. How is people heart so evil? Anyway, I'll be back with the final look. <laughs> so guys, I am back. The sun is trying to come up. So they'll let you know how early she was of doing this look. <laughs> the sun is trying to come up. So this... This is the final look. So I wanna thank you guys for stopping by and watching my videos. I really appreciate you. And not only do that rule apply to your real life of just be careful of who you call your friend and watch them. Watch what they do in the early stage of your friendhood. Watch them before you say, that's my bestie. That applied to YouTube too. Watch your YouTube friends. I want to thank you guys for stopping by and watching my video. And if you're new here, I will see you in my next upload. Mm -hmm.